With TTTS, we typically will recommend delivery a month or even six weeks early because these pregnancies have been so complicated and we don't want a last minute problem once we get far enough along that we know the babies are likely to do well outside the uterus. Um, if a mother has had successful treatment for twin-twin transfusion syndrome and the fluid around both babies is now normalized and their growth has been normal, there's no reason a mother can't have a normal vaginal delivery. Um, with any twins, the chance of having a cesarean section is probably at least 50%. So many women with twin-twin transfusion syndrome do end up um, needing to be delivered by C-section. And because many pregnancies with twin-twin transfusion syndrome, you do still end up with one baby that's a bit smaller, um, maybe having been under a little bit more stress during the pregnancy, I'd say the chance of ending up with a C-section is a bit higher than with all twins. So more likely than not, although not necessarily 100%.